Deep Shalara on the Champions League breakfast. Twenty-two minutes before eight o'clock it is our time. Good morning and welcome to Business Focus. Right here on the Champions League Breakfast on Capitalk. We are live on our Facebook page. Capitalk 100.4 FM. Harari's Heartbeat. Uh, business Focus with Kudzi Sharara as always. Uh, you've got questions uh, to do with business. Feel free to drop them up on our Facebook page as well. Capitalk 100.4 FM. Harari's Heartbeat. Or you can also drop them up on our WhatsApp platform. 0719 100404. Good morning to you, Kudzi. How are you doing today? Uh, good morning, Tinashe. Good morning, Pakistani. And good morning, everyone. Great. Uh, let's begin with the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange the updates. Yeah, the ZDC, as you know, it has been doing quite well in terms of the gains and mm -hmm. the capital gains that we have been seeing on the market. But I think yesterday there was uh, a bit of a slowdown uh, when you look at the gains that we recorded with the All Share Index uh, adding just 0.83%. We have been used to 0.7%, uh, 0.9% since the beginning of the year, but as just 0.83% on the All Share Index. Uh, that's yesterday. You look at the top 10 index, uh, it didn't do much well as well, uh, up by just 0.62%. And you look at... Uh, Top risers, GP Holdings was the biggest uh, mover there with a 48.13% wow. gain. Mm. You know, those circuit breakers have since been removed. You know, uh, last year we would see uh, companies were only allowed to, uh, to go up by just a, uh, a limited 15%. But the small cap, the smaller companies are now allowed to go by as much as, uh, as investors want. Mm. So GP was the top riser yesterday with a 48.13% gain. Edgar's also doing well uh, since the beginning of the year up by 15% uh, yesterday. So Edgar's is actually the second top riser since the beginning of the year. And uh, I think we have spoken about it to say they are now, we now have a new shareholders in Edgar's. We now have a new um, executive in, in, in Edgar's. I saw yesterday a uh, former C CFI executive, mm -hmm. uh, Chester Mteve, now uh, having moved to, to, to Edgar's. So uh, new developments there at Edgar's. And I think some investors are taking their position in that counter hoping that uh, the new shareholders will do their magic like they have done with their other companies, uh, your inscores and national foods of this world, where they are um, reportedly common shareholders. Also on the upside was Citco, in, um, is Citco up by 15%. Uh, hopefully, uh, with the rains that we are seeing at the moment, it's, it looks like uh, farmers are still are still planting. I think today, if I'm not mistaken, is the last day of uh, of planting, and uh, probably a few uh, farmers are also uh, getting to, to 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 buy their seeds. And uh, Citgo is one of those. Rio Zim also positive. Uh, up by 12.5 percent uh, despite the news that uh, uh, the gold sector failed to meet its target you know uh, they targeted that they will uh, produce about 35 tons uh, this the last year in 2023 but we failed to meet that target uh, i think we did about just above 30 uh, 30 tons as a country so that's uh, in terms of uh, gold production and realism as a counter there Pro plastics also positive by 3.7%. However, on the downside, we had first mutual property down by uh, a massive 58.93% drop. And then also have Machine Island Holdings, another property company, down by 2.96%. And then Econet and BAT also concluding the top uh, four losers. There were only four losers yesterday. And then uh, in terms of funds invested, uh, most investors put their money in Econet. It wasn't much as well. Mm. Uh, just about 477 million going into Econet. And then Ecocash also getting a size of or chunk of the funds that were invested. So that's the update on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. Okay, uh, you've got questions uh, on uh, Business Focus. Uh, drop them up on our WhatsApp platform 0719 100404. Kudzi is right here. Uh, so let's get into a lot of things that mm. has been making headlines. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I don't know the development, but some of the developments anyway, uh, when you look at, uh, because I think the small scale miners, uh, that's where we had the challenges. And when, uh, I, I think it started at the beginning of the year, last year, uh, during the rain season, when it's raining, they don't have enough equipment to drain the water. So they are not able to go underground to uh, to be able to, uh, to, 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 uh, to do their work. That's number one. Number two, remember that there was a shift from uh, small scale gold miners being paid 100% in US dollars. Now 
they are being paid uh, part of it in, in, in local dollars. And again, uh, you see deliveries to fidelity printers, uh, fidelity uh, gold refiners also being reduced. So uh, they might be uh, mining as much gold as before, but there are leakages that will be taking place. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's the other reason why uh, you could uh, we could have had uh, uh, gold, less gold production. Mm -hmm. uh, the big mine houses also complained sometime in the year again in terms of uh, electricity uh, supply. Again, that will be affected. Uh, that will affect um, the gold production. Mm -hmm. So, so could see obviously there is a lot that has been happening. And uh, what is the latest that we've got when it comes to issues of? Uh, uh, the government taxi measures that uh, they were introduced for the f from the 1st of January. Yes. 2024. Uh, yes. Uh, so we, we saw the government measures being introduced, and then we saw that there was an outcry, uh, which resulted in uh, in in in, in uh, government and the business sector rather mm -hmm. engaging government in terms of uh, the 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 disruptions to the uh, trade channels that they were seeing, uh, the uh, price increases that we, they were seeing, and uh, I think uh, we saw yesterday we spoke about it, saying that uh, CZTA had issued a moratorium. Uh, well, not a moratorium, but a statement to say that they'd been they'd. Agreed Agreed to have a moratorium uh, with government to say the measures that were introduced in January uh, were going to be put aside and it will be back to December settings. That's the statement that was issued by uh, CZI. Only for uh, government yesterday to issue a statement through Treasury to say they do not issue such statements, moratoriums, <laughs> through third parties. <laughs> so <laughs> so, so that's that, not defying everything that was said. That, well, in a, in a way, saying what was said by, by CZI to say uh, we are going to set aside uh, the, the, the mm. measures. But remember, uh, you, spo you, you pointed it out yesterday. Yes, I did. It was very difficult for government to say they are going to be listening to all this. Yes, I said uh, the government will have to wait for government in Zimbra uh -huh. to say something before anyone can try and uh, and, <laughs> and implement these measures because I know uh, in the past that, is, that has happened before. So yeah, this is what government has said. I think it was the last part of the statement where they said, look, we do not issue uh, statements through third parties. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, anyway, let's move to the to, to what government has done in terms of uh, trying to listen. Uh, are to, there even changes though? Yes, there are changes. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the route to market. So what government has said, okay, uh, remember that they had said that uh, only wholesalers will buy from manufacturers, but mm -hmm. they have since said, okay, uh, anyone retailers are now allowed to go straight to the manufacturer. Uh, the schools are also hospitals as well. They are now allowed to go straight to the manufacturers. However, they must be, uh, they must have op obtained a valid tax clearance certificate as well as they must be re VAT registered. So you can go to the manufacturer but you have to have that tax compliance certificate. Mm. You must also be uh, value added tax uh, registered. So this is now the new measure. Yes, sir. Because mm, mm, yes. Because probably the so nearest the nearest, uh, uh, the nearest uh, uh, wholesale. So for for perishables like uh, like bread for example, meat, bread, they, meat. Yeah, uh, yeah, but uh, especially bread. That's the one that they, they they highlighted. They say for bread and other perishables, they can actually um, you can go uh, straight to the to the retailer. In fact, the manufacturer has been given uh, they, they've been allowed to distribute themselves. So. Uh, they so they've been allowed to do that so that's number one and then in terms of uh, the, the, the what is going to happen in terms of co tax collection remember that what uh, the government wanted was to increase or to widen their tax base and mm -hmm. that has uh, so what what has been said is that if somebody comes to a manufacturer if somebody comes to, uh, to, to to a producer of products if they do not have a tax clearance certificate if they are not registered for VAT the manufacturer must now withhold 5% mm. tax. Mm. So uh, everybody who is going to be buying from a manufacturer is, <laughs> is now going to be paying tax. Remember that uh, Patsana Yengwe and Daguna manufacturer hey. already need to talk about as well as Ongo Padara, exactly, like $4, dollars Ongo Padara $4. But now Argon says, no, for $4, the, purple, uh, the manufacturer must withhold 5% withholding tax. So, what do you think? The government has not yet been able as long as you still registered for tax, can I in fact, if you are not registered for uh -huh. tax, you can still go, but remember to have not five percent. 
you have to can I can I use the four dollars maybe I'll open up another five dollars on top, mm -hmm. which means that there is now a bit of uh, fair competition. I would say a bit of fair competition uh -huh. because uh, uh, my big retailers, for example, they were, they would go to the manufacturer, um, um, uh, uh, purchase their products, and then when they uh, they, they then have to pay a VAT uh, and they, they also had to pay their their corporate tax. But someone on the tax shop, I'm going to know what I'm going to say. No tax whatsoever, no corporate tax, no what. But now, you know what to go about 5%. Now, you have to consult your tax, tax expectations to say where am i better suited to be registered in those but are corporate tax area can out to know about wrong my five percent withholding tax those are up depending on you could put that gp the gp what best suits you so this is what uh what what has been said by by, by government with regards the route to market mm. well, yes but for wholesalers uh -huh. for wholesalers um uh the the government didn't mention anything which means that my restrictions are a one thousand they are likely to be still there because they were not mentioned in this new fine tuning of the measures that has been done by government. And again, let me state this government is saying we will fine tune, right? They've said how they are going to fine tune, but it's not yet, they've not yet changed anything in terms of the Finance Act. So whether it will be done through a, a statutory instrument, whether they will have to go back to parliament, I don't know. Mm, but okay. from from my experience, pan, pan question here to you, yes. Hans, mm. I could say, uh, what if I am selling products not liable for VAT like pharmacies? Do we need to register for that? No, I don't think so because again, part of my products. Remember, part of my basic products, I can bring I include go VAT like other uh -huh. bread and mm -hmm. things like that. They have since been zero rated again. You don't have to pay. Kunyama. Nyama ah nyama nzi nyama ilakjari mo. So it's too pa nyama nyama is too pa pa standard rating. Uh, meat is too at standard rating, so it means that you still have to pay your your fifteen percent uh tax on on but products like meat. Yes. Going big panels on what's already said. Pane pane nyika is in informal sector here because in Rutu na dresses juga, juda ungo sungira informal sector. So you see the, the, yeah. the level of the informal sector but sorry ndo ino zvitoti mwe mtemo inge chi introduce kwa kune mwe nyika ine informal sector but informal sector versus uh, formal sector maybe informal sector constitutes 5% 10% of the economy. And in this but economy, the Zimbabwean economy say informal sector constitutes above 70% of the economy. <laughs> so, so it's like you have got uh, you have got 70% of the of the of the of the business world. Mm. Yet not the informal sector, actually, not paying tax at it. Mm -hmm. uh, but once we have a informal sector. So informal sector and that's the but so there's a difference between a small business and it it could be a small business but it's compliant and it mm -hmm. with the laws of the country. You say a small business is still compliant. Do you know the informal sector here? Because their operations are not formal, they are not formalized in terms of the law. So so could mm -hmm. so now what it means is now fifteen percent VAT plus five percent. Yeah, yeah, you get and dinner that takes and it takes so, it. So total becomes twenty percent. Is that so? No, not really, because there are two separate issues. Uh -huh. It will run on certain products. Remember, even what you are going to buy that are VAT uh -huh. and this, but you are going to buy that are you are going to buy not zones corporate tax. So I'm going to cheat a contributor, whatever, or deducting VAT on behalf of government, whatever and this. But I'm going to do that are corporate tax. But after what I'm a profit, we have a business. I got to nash it. What I'm a profit, eight hundred thousand. I'm going to do that are twenty five percent. Corporate tax and it, mm -hmm. of your profits, yeah, huh? but one wasn't a bad driving. I got a profit again. I say, I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that corporate tax. No one wants you wow, they have to be uh withholding tax here five percent. But could you need to know when the Swiss and the Panama products are this qua Argons Ayatama visa? Ne Argons Anofanonga repo in an independent more also. Do not think as you didn't take clearance young or and dinner. The thing among my products are included, Mama has, are excluded. Yeah. How is my invoice going to come out? Ah, invoice is not going to come out. It's really in a system. System in Pano to Pancha Pepe. It's not to move. This one is uh, zero rated. This one is 15% VHR. It's not going to be a problem. You can tell me about it. 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 You can tell me about I'm still thinking. I don't know if it's automatic. I don't know if it's automatic. Nyama is a luxury. <laughs> 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 well, well, according according to this, uh, it has to pay tax. Whether you call uh, it a luxury or not uh, a luxury, uh, you have to pay uh, a VAT on on, okay. on meat. And uh, yesterday there was a treasury communique uh, regarding taxation changes 
any positive impact to the price increases we have witnessed in the recent past? Yes, uh, some products like bread, for example, is uh -huh. no longer, uh, is now exempt from VAT. Uh, that's bread. Uh, I'm, t I'm trying to look. Okay, so there's bread, milk, cooking oil, uh, milly meal, salt, sugar, flour. They are now exempt from the VAT. And I introduced on these products here, which means chingwa takato na chikuira ma price and isi ma ma bread producers zangwa to two mira shoti chingwa chedu recommended retail price on washti dollar two or on washti dollar eight cents, right? Now they have to reduce those prices because they've been told kutichi it's now uh, exempt. However, this is a statement. Ekti ishi ripo. So you need to. So need which to one? Carefully. Which one overrides the other? Is it the, the statement or the act? Ah, uh, it's the act because even Panapa, Parku government Ruguti steps that will be taken uh -huh. as a consequence of uh, consequence of the consultation. Though so steps that will be uh -huh. will be it's like uh, So as of today, if I'm to trade, I have to charge VAT because I'm uh, tema or change. That's my understanding. Mm -hmm. Subject Kuzi, to <laughs> uh, the, another question on our WhatsApp platform. Hi Kuzi, uh, can you explain withholding tax? Are they saying if the price is four dollars inclusive of uh, inclusive of VAT for withholding tax? We're saying I pay four dollars plus five percent, meaning my price will be four dollars two cents. Yes, your price will have to. Eh, yes, mm. we have because for the eh, Copa manufacturer route in any chunk of the four dollars. But you will as a tinashe, you must contribute a withholding tax to government. Say she's withholding tax because our your tinashe or was registered, which means the house could not bother tax. Sakata out of Garataku Batira and us, Paul to hold us in Panapa, to Bata Batira, five percent tax, each end of government. So, yes, that's uh, that's Sakamuna rule. What's your upper is is it the consumer? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, the consumer well, knows what's your eventually. It, it now depends on we are Bata withholding tax. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 four dollars plus that five percent. Uh -huh. Rabu to be an aguti manufacturer, I are going to tune Jacket because it am four to last five cents. You know, ten by eight. And this is I'm going to die in the chapter on behalf of my customers. Maybe I'm going to go to the garage to grow space so I'm going to go to the I had a 20% margin. I'm going to reduce a margin. I'm going to get a less say maybe 18% or whatever margin or reduce so that he can accommodate this payment of the tax. So I'm going to be in a competition margin. Because I'm not going to get a little bit of a cap. I'm not going to get a little bit of a cap. I'm not going to get a little bit of a cap. And this is profit. It's a manufacture. It's a manufacture. Profit is five dollars. And this is cost. I'm going to get five dollars. Do think it's at ten dollars, but you wait in Ashoka Gazra, same cap. No, 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 in Indu, we think it's at six dollars. Don't go that dollar is profit. Saka knows Oceana, not manufacturer, I don't say it depending. But, 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 and like example that was given by one of our listeners to say eventually the product will become four dollars two cents. In Indu, we're going to take the chapters and now one's a shop tailor and not change. Yeah, it changes. Yeah, changes. But that's not subject to discussion. The fiscal authority, when they make such a so, such a so, I'm not changing. I'm not changing. It's a problem. I'm worried. 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 I'm 5% from informal traders. You want to talk about informal trader. How are you going to use a manufacturer? What do you want to use? 1,000. You know, in Nini, you want to use 1,000. But you can use 5% on top. It's just going to go to the government. And this is, that's, 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 I, that's my understanding. 5% on top, it's just going to go to the government. Because, you can charge, in Nini, you can charge 4,000. Dika ngomu cha jafti 4,000. Government cha yetu wakati nge sera tinaje asina, asiri tax registered. Asiri VAT registered. Tuda 5% yedu. Saka isha turoba 4,000 yako. Saka yoto kara. Wait a say. Watu cha jafti more. To pane, accommodate that. Pane ma, ma, ma institutions that you pointed out are exempted from all this in terms they are allowed to go direct to the manufacturers. Yes, ma, schools, schools, hospitals, hospitals yes. hotels, I think. Mm, hotels right? as well. They are uh, uh, vane limit here. Yavano kwani, yavano nzi. You have got a limit of this much to go and buy from the manufacturer. Because I'm thinking, do go go with an anaid must of a chorup in one hour. Don't see them no do zero or Marie. Mono no Pamuno orders in the chorum of a man would drive. That's a Because they are loopholes. Are we not going to have those loopholes coming around now? 
Look, how are we going if we don't have a cap of of what is needed to for 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 the exempted uh, institutions to to uh, to do uh, from the manufacture? Look, you can uh, you can tell. For example, I'll tell you uh, um, the school where my, my, my daughter is at. Uh, last year, they, they over the years they ordered two classes Zema Form One, and this is I'm going to two classes Jerez Zema Form One. But now they have got three classes. If you like, I go order still need three classes. Unga unga muran bira say unga muran bira order no. Makure say my mini two classes. Saga mimi muno order chingwa chakati or whatever. Uh, they were buying from you. Saka over and beer. But you over to it. Saka mm. you can't tell. Saka when I talk to you, I'm going to talk to you. I want you to have a bad company. Okay. Another question here on uh, Anzi. Okay. All right. Let me let me look. Okay. Okay. Will bread price go down if raw materials such as cooking oil and flour are VAT standard rated? Uh, that that would be my thinking. Uh, but you never know with the with the, with the producers. The, the you never know with the producers. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's up to them. One not, but it's a, it's a it's a competitive environment. That's why we should not want to run out. Run out. Mm-hmm. It's very competitive because we've got uh, I think three or four uh, large uh, uh, bread uh, producers. So it, it depends on on where they want to put their prices. Even the Zimbabwe people take out to Angola issue our new prices. We don't want to get change change to dollar twelve cents retail uh-huh. price. We want to change change to dollar eight cents. So already part of the competition on prices. So it mm-hmm. depends on the. Yeah. Lastly and quickly, because time is running out, could the it's party trigger, but it means there is need to update our systems to accommodate this five percent. I assume the five percent is calculated after VAT. But so so uh, with yeah 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 we can achieve uh-huh. change VAT yes. Uh, mm-hmm. But that, now uh, in don't to run the matrix expense. Now we need to update. <laughs> system, we need to update. We need to update. We need to update. But my my systems are not going to update. I'm going to punch up my numbers. I think uh, it's okay. it, should, it should be difficult. All right, right. this Talk has been text, a business focus <laughs> right here on the Champions League breakfast on Capital. Thank you so much, Kudzu. We'll speak more of business uh, tomorrow same time at seven thirty-five right here on Capital. Thank you tonight.